Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Let's log into vSphere and we're gonna bind a host into a D. So you can connect directly to the host or do this via, via a vCenter environment. But as long as you can get access to a host, you should be good. All right, so once we've logged in, we wanna select the host that we've got. This is the host that we wanna to bind to AD. And we go into the configuration tab. Within configuration, we're going down to DNS. So we're gonna set the DNS first and the host name of our host first, okay? So on the top right, we've got properties. So go into properties, put in your host name and your domain. All right, so we're just gonna just create a, a fake name and domain for now. Uh, and then you'll go in and actually then bind that. And that's the name that's gonna be used when you're binding it, uh, or that'll appear in AD. So we're calling it ESX host 001. My domain is my domain, okay? Your domain will obviously be your actual domain. And we wanna put the domain in here as well, okay? We're also going to add a couple of DNS servers, okay? So that it knows where to, where to look and find the domain controller. Your domain controller could be your DNS server as well. So go ahead and put in those uh, those IPs for your DNS servers. And once you are done, click on OK. You'll see their information will now change, which looks good. So now we can go ahead and bind it. So go to authentication services on the left. And then we want to go to properties on the top right. You'll see that it currently is set to local authentication. So we're gonna go and set that so that it's bound to AD. In that drop down, all right, from local authentication, we want to go down to Active Directory and we put in the domain in there. All right, so mydomain.com and we click on Join Domain. It'll ask you for your credentials and that's it. So if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to Digital Byte Computing for a whole bunch of more videos.